Hello everyone. In this lesson, I will guide you on how to convert data types in R. So by the end of this lesson, you will learn how to convert one data type to another. Now in R Studio, I will go ahead and assign a value to the variable X, let's say 400. If I execute this code, this 400 is stored into the variable X and displayed in the environment window. We use the class function to check what data type this is. So for example, I use the class function and I pass into it X. And if I execute this line of code, I end up getting the result to be numeric. However, if I want to convert this particular numeric data type to another data type, like for example, I would say convert to integer data type, then I would go ahead and use one of the following functions to convert one data type to another. Let me come up here and write it here. So you would have to write the particular data type. We have learned about them in the previous lesson, numeric, integer, character, logical, and complex. All you have to do is to bring a preface as followed by the data type. So for example, you have as.numeric, as.integer, as.character, as.logical, as dot complex. So unlike the is prefix, which is used to check that particular data type, the as prefix is used to convert to that particular data type. So if I want to convert to the integer data type, this particular variable, which has the numeric data type of 400 in it, then I would just simply go ahead and pass this to as dot integer function. And I'll put in the X. Now, if I execute this code, we are going to get a 400. But remember that if you go ahead and write 400 with the suffix L, that is an integer data type. If you execute, you still get the 400. So it makes no particular difference between integer and, and the numeric data type. So what I essentially want to do right here is to save this conversion to an integer to another variable, say Y. And if I run this code to store this into the Y variable, then I can now use the class function and pass into it this Y where the X had been converted to an integer. So if I execute this line of code, we end up getting the result to be an integer. So the conversion was successfully done. We can also go ahead and assign another variable, another value to another variable, like A equals true which we know to be a logical value. So for example, if we go ahead and pass the A into the class function and execute, oops, not found because I did not execute the code before. So I will have to execute the assignment and then run the class of A and we get the answer to be logical. Then I would like to also convert this logical value to an integer. And I will save this into another variable called B and I place this A, which is now a logical data type, I put it into the as or integer function for the conversion. And if I execute this line of code and now check the class of B, we end up getting the result to be an integer. So this true has been converted to an integer. So let us also create another variable called C and then store into it a character data type. So I would just simply write practice makes perfect execute this line of code and check the data type using the class function, we end up getting the result to be a character. Now, because this character data type are simply words, there is no particular way you can convert this to, for example, a numeric data type or an integer data type. So what really happens if I try to convert this text into a numeric data type? So I will just go ahead and use the as.numeric and pass into it a variable called C. I am not assigning this into any variable because I do know what answer is going to come out eventually. We just want to demonstrate how this actually works. If I highlight this code and execute, we end up getting NA. Now remember, in our previous lesson, we mentioned that NA simply means not available, which is essentially a missing value in R. So it retains the NA because there is no way R can actually convert, even as a human being, there is no way you can actually convert words to numbers in, in that particular sense of that context. So R introduces not available as the answer and gives you a warning message and says the not available numbers or NAs were introduced by coercion. You just simply wanted to coerce the character data type to a numeric data type, but that was not really possible with R. So it went ahead and gave you the missing value, the NA, and gave you a warning message to give you that information.
There is something interesting about R. Anytime you see a warning message, that is not essentially an error. Once you see the error, then that tells you that something is wrong with your code. But if you get a warning message, then that means your code worked correctly. R is just prompting you to check if that is truly the result that you really want to have. So this is how you can convert one data type to another. Now, there is something also interesting that I really want to show you here. The logical constants true and that of false, they are inherently as numeric or integer data type. True is one and false is zero. Let's find out. If I pass this true logical constant into the as.numeric function in an attempt to coerce it to a numeric data type, let's clear the console first. If I execute as.numeric and pass into it the logical constant true, we end up getting the result to be one. So which means true as a logical data type is inherently one as a numeric data type when converted. Also, if I go ahead and run this code as.numeric and pass into it false, we end up getting the answer to be zero. So one for true, zero for false respectively. So you can even perform arithmetic operations even using these logical constants. For example, we know that true is inherently a numeric data type, which happens to be one, even though when you specifically check the data type, like for example, the class of true, you will end up getting logical. But when converted to numeric, it is simply one for true and zero for false. You can perform arithmetic operations with them. So if you go ahead and say true plus true and execute, you get the answer to be two. That is not going to be an error because R will somehow behind the scenes see this true as if it were a numeric data type and perform the arithmetic operation you call for. So you can go ahead and do true plus false. And if you execute this, you will get one because one plus zero is simply equal to one. You can also do false plus false and it is simply zero plus zero and that would give you zero. A special thing about the logical constants true and false.